Though the electronic keyboard has become the go-to instrument in today's contemporary churches, the Hammond organ has been a mainstay in the black church for many years. Kenneth Morris is credited with having introduced the Hammond organ to the black church. He convinced Reverend Clarence Cobb, who was a pastor of uh, First Church of Deliverance in Chicago, of which Morris was a member and a musician, to try this new controversial instrument. They did, and the rest is history. Lawrence Hammond was the inventor of the Hammond organ. He graduated from Cornell University with a mechanical engineering degree in 1916. In the early 1920s, he designed a spring-driven clock which provided enough sales for him to start his own business in 1928. The business was called the Hammond Clock Company. Lawrence also invented 3D glasses and the uh, automatic bridge table. Lawrence held over 90 patents for his inventions. The bridge table became his biggest selling product until the Great, great Depression uh, when sales, of course, began to decline. So. Hammond began looking for his next invention, the tone wheel generator. He experimented with it using an old piano attaching the tone wheel to it, similar to the telharmonium. He continued to experiment with it, trying to create organ sounds. Eventually, he was successful. In 1934, Hammond filed and received a patent for his invention and began manufacturing organs that he named after himself, the Hammond organ. The first model, the Model A, was unveiled in April 1935. Over 1,700 churches purchased the organ in its first three years. By the end of the 1930s, over 200 organs per month was being manufactured. By 1966, over 50,000 churches had installed a Hammond organ. Now, the organ was marketed as a low-cost alternative to the pipe organ, and pipe organ man manufacturers took issue with that. They claimed that Hammond's organ was not an organ at all. Organs have pipes and the Hammond used a tone wheel. Organs have stops. The Hammond had drawbars. So they took Hammond to court, but Hammond prevailed. But the courts did tell Hammond that he had to cease and desist his current advertising campaign. Hammond began manufacturing the Model A in 1935. The first one off the assembly line was purchased by Henry Ford, the second to President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and the third to George Gershwin. The cost of the Model A in 1935 was $1,100. Now, there have been many models of the organ over the years, and uh, I, have, um, I will be showing several of them at the end of this presentation. However, the B3 in later years became the most popular Hammond model. Uh, the first B3 came off the assembly line in 1955. Jimmy Smith, the renowned jazz organist, did more than anyone to advance the popularity of the B3. Booker T and the MGs made it a fixture in R&B. In 1935, the Hammond came with its own tone wheel cabinet. But in 1937, an inventor by the name of Donald Leslie came up with a new kind of speaker that had moving parts, the Leslie speaker. Now, Leslie was impressed with the Hammond organ in, in, con in a concert hall, but he was less impressed in a confined space. In smaller settings, he felt that there was no resonance. It sounded dull. So Leslie invented a speaker that rotated, creating what is called a Doppler effect, which is 
the change in frequency of a wave. It gave the organ more resonance by creating a larger auditorium sound by projecting it 360 degrees. Now, when Leslie presented it to Lawrence Hammond, he rejected it and attempted to create his own Leslie speaker and began changing the connections to the Hammond organ so that Leslie speakers, it will prevent Leslie speakers from being used with a Hammond organ. You see, Hammond feared losing control of his company. In fact, he forbade all dealerships from selling Leslie's speaker. But Don, Don Leslie, he, he found a, a workaround. In 1965, CBS purchased the Hammond Company. Donald Leslie became a consultant. After the death of Lawrence Hammond in 1973, the Leslie became a permanent part of the Hammond organ. In 1985, Hammond went out of business. In 1986, the Hammond brand and name was purchased by Hammond Organ Australia. Currently, Hammond is owned by Suzuki. In recent years, they have begun manufacturing digital models of the Hammond organ. Today, most musicians prefer the older tube-operated Hammond. The feeling is the, the tube models have a fuller and warmer sound and the overtones are, are, are much more pronounced. Today, a used Hammond can cost you as much as $18,000. Did you know 